Welcome back, viewers. Today, we will be testing the Gas Titan MA Cross RSI Parabolic SAR indicator. But before we do, if you have not watched our first video and the videos after that, you need to go do that now. At the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. And as a team, we will all profit from it when we are done. You can find a link to the first video down below. You can also find a link to sign up for TradingView down below. If you use the link below, you will save a little bit of money. You can also find a link below to join us on Discord. Discord is a free group communication platform. On our Discord server, we are having great conversations about all things regarding trading. One of the biggest struggles on this channel is people who use other platforms like MT4 being able to follow along. Sometimes it can be hard to find the indicators we are using on other platforms. And so on our Discord server, I have created a channel for indicator creation. And on that channel, I pinned links to freelancers who can code indicators for MT or for TradingView. So if you don't want to create a TradingView account, you can hire a freelancer for a really small fee and have them code an indicator for the MT platform. Or if you are on TradingView and need an indicator created, something unique or an indicator for a system you have developed, you can also have them code PineScript. So use the link for either MT4 coding or use the link for PineScript. Lastly, I get a lot of people that are asking me for the entire list of all the winning indicators that we have tested to date. And uh, whereas I am not a big uh, proponent of gatekeeping information, I've put a lot of time and effort into creating the content on my YouTube channel. And so I don't think it is too much to ask for the viewers to go through and view the content that I've spent a lot of time uh, creating. Now, if you are not interested in supporting our channel by going back and watching the content that I have created, then I have uh, developed a solution for you. I've created a Patreon account I will put a link to it down below in the description. If you sign up for Patreon and you sign up for the $9 a month account, I will send you the full list of tested and winning indicators to date. I will also send you an updated list of the indicators that we are testing at the end of each week. Now, of course, you have to stay subscribed to the $9 uh, subscription, monthly subscription, to continue to receive the updated list of indicators. But that way, it will provide me with the support that I need to continue to provide the free uh, content that I am putting out for everybody to view. Now, if you just love the channel in general and want to support us, then there is also a lower, uh, I think, $3 Patreon subscription that you can sign up for that will also help support the channel and keep things going so that way I can continue to produce the content and the open information that we are creating here in this channel and in our Discord server. Again, if you have not signed up for our Discord, then you need to do that as well. It is a absolutely free platform where we have real-time ability to chat and have conversations about trading. And again, if you want to support the channel with Patreon, then you can find the link down below in the description. All right, as I said, today we will be testing the Gas Titan MA Cross 
RSI Parabolic SAR Indicator. But before we do, I wanted to put the indicator scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested 127 indicators. And out of those 127 indicators, 51 of them have been winners, which means that they have met or exceeded the 60% win-loss ratio threshold that we have set for them. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. But as we are working on building the best trading system possible, you could take any one of those 51 indicators and get out there and start potentially profitably trading the markets with them now. So go back and watch those videos, make a list of those indicators, and get out there and see what you can do with them. But stick with us here as we work on maximizing your trading profits. All right, as I said, today's indicator is the Gas Titan MA Cross RSI Parabolic SAR indicator. Quite a mouthful to say the least. So the Gas Titan part is actually the creator of the indicator. That is his trading view username. And so this is a trading view user created indicator. And so, of course, you can find a link to it down below in the description. And so basically what we have is a MA cross RSI and parabolic SAR indicator. And so um, this is very similar to the process that we are actually working on um, to develop a uh, kind of all-in-one trading system where we are using multiple indicators that all have to um, work together to uh, give signals or for us to take the trades with the signals that it's giving us. And so in this particular case, like I said, it is an MA cross, so a moving average cross, an RSI, and the parabolic, parabolic SAR. And so um, you can see it here on the screen, how it is uh, set up. Really what we are looking for are uh, these flags here. I guess you could say labels, if you want to call them that, for when it is giving an MA cell or an MA buy. And so that is the first step in um, whether or not we are going to take the signal that this indicator is giving us. Now, what we need to do is we need to also confirm that the other parts, the other indicators involved are also lined up giving us the same signal. So one thing I am going to do here is I'm going to go in and I am going to turn off the visibility of the moving average because it doesn't really need to be there. Next thing I might do is let's see if this helps out a little bit here. Ah, there we go. Let's do that. All right. So. As I said, the first thing we're looking for is the um, MA cell or the MA buy. It's a little bit hard to see now because I uh, buried it underneath the parabolic SAR. And so once we get an MA cell or an MA buy, we are also looking for the other indicators to line up with it. And so we should have an MA cell and a um, RSI bear signal on the same candle. And the parabolic SAR must be in the correct position. Uh, if you've never used the parabolic SAR, you don't know of the parabolic SAR. It is these little uh, X's, these little uh, crosses that are above and below the price action. 
basically when the uh, crosses switch underneath the price action that is a signal to go long when the uh, crosses are above the price action that is a signal to go long and so we must also have um, the parabolic SAR lined up with the other signals so we need an MA cell an RSI bear and the parabolic SAR to be above the price action candles for us to take the signal um, as a trade same way in reverse we need to have the um, ma buy i know it's kind of hard to see here i wish they would have spread this out a little bit more but um, if you look really closely here you can see there's an ma buy right here there's an rsi bull there on the same candle and the parabolic sar is below the price action and so that would be all the indicators lining up at one point, giving us a signal to then go long. And so that's how we will be trading it today. That's how we'll be testing it. We will follow um, those rules and see what we can get out of this indicator. Let's play it along here and see what we can get. All right. So there we go we get our first lineup so you see we have an ma cell we have an rsi bear on the same candle and we have the parabolic sar above price action pushing it downward and let's play it out just a little bit here this right here would have been our entry candle and we definitely got the 50 pips take profit out of that trade all right this is where things will get a little bit more challenging i knew this was going to happen because i was seeing it as i was playing around with it so things uh when they happen really close to each other on um consecutive candles they get really jumbled together here and really hard to see what exactly is happening. So zoom in really close on these. And so what we see here is that we have a long signal here, but the par parabolic SAR is not lined up with it. But then we get a short here, a short signal. So we have the MA cell, the RSI bear, and the parabolic SAR above, which is pushing downward. Now, the next candle here, we get an MA buy and an RSI bull, but the parabolic SAR is still above, and so that is not a valid uh, signal to go long. Let's play it out here a little bit and see if this short signal works in our favor. It does not. Looks like right here. Actually, hold on one second here. Nope, that is not a valid entry because that is a cell. It is not above there, but even if it was, it wouldn't cancel out that trade. Did this hit stop? Yes, it did hit our stop. And so that one right there would not have been a winning trade. All right, let's play it forward here. So, um, I mean, really, the main thing to pay attention to at this point is where the parabolic SAR is uh, because that is a pretty distinctive defining um, signal as to what we need to be following here. All right, and so we get a uh, buy there, but that doesn't line up. So we'll play it forward here a little bit more. We get an a uh, cell signal here the RSI confirms it the parabolic RSI are sorry too many uh, too many uh, letters happening here the parabolic SAR also confirms it 
and it did hit take profit and so that would have been a winning trade there let's see we pick up a buy signal here but the uh, SAR has not lined up yet so we miss out on that move let's play it forward here see what we get all right we get a sell signal here let's play it out a little bit more and see what it does i think that one stopped us out there's so much going on with this indicator that it is hard to follow okay so we got stopped out on that one then we pick up a cell here, which lines up. Parabolic SAR is in the correct position. Let's play it forward here just a little bit. Looks like it's having a pullback. So let's go ahead and measure this off. It hit the 50 pips. So we are good to go on that one. And it's plugging along here. Let's see. That is a buy there. The RSI, I do not believe it did not confirm it. So the RSI was slightly lagging. Let me pick up a sell there, but the SAR is not aligned either. All right. Let's see. So we get an. RSI buy, an MA buy, and a parabolic SAR buy, all right there. But unfortunately, it appears as though it stopped us out. It did. So that did not work in our favor. We had a buy here, but the SAR is not aligned. Once again, looks like it is just barely off. And this is, uh, this is one of the problems that you'll have when you are creating a system with multiple layers of indicators that all need to um, you know, be lined up for uh, you to be able to take a trade. Is that sometimes you will have instances like this where you barely miss a really good trade because one of your indicators was not lined up with the rest of them and that's okay every now and then but if it becomes a regular occurrence then your uh, trading system definitely needs to be revised you do not want a system that is constantly keeping you out of what would have been really good moves now again with that being said you will absolutely have moments where you miss what would have been a good trade and you get FOMO which is the fear of missing out and you uh, next time uh, instead of following your system you will uh, decide that it is better off not to follow your system and take a trade and then the trade will go against you and stop you out and you'll lose a bunch of money and then you will uh, feel like a, a dunce and be beating yourself up because of it and so uh, that is a big big reason why i say that the vast uh the the most important part the most challenging part of trading is not necessarily finding a good system it is the mentality of trading the mentality of trading um, when you have real money on the line will do crazy things to you and so the uh the the best thing that you could possibly do as a new trader if you are new to this is to work on the mentality of your trading super hard when you don't have real money in the game and so um, what you need to do is you need to build the confidence 
around your trading system that when it gives you a signal uh, to either go short or go long that um, you follow it 100% and you don't question it. Now, of course, you need to have a good trading system in place before um, that is possible. Uh, because if you don't have a good trading system in place, then you're just kind of blindly following a losing system. And you'll get super discouraged because you keep losing trade after trade after trade. And um, you'll lose faith in your trading system. All right, moving along here. Again, it looks like we were just, I mean, one or two candles away from getting into a really good trade right there. Let's see. So we pick up a sell right there. Finally, we get into another trade, and it was a decent trade, getting us to take profit. That one would have been really good trade right there. This thing just dumped and went down, down, down really hard. See, there's a buy right there. Let's fight for it just a little bit more, see what it does. So, buy there. Did it get to our 50? It did. There we go. Uh, let's see. Following along here. Nope, we didn't pick up any more. Let's see. There's a buy there, but the RSI did not line up. Let's throw in some RSI signals. Let's see. That is a buy. And it is super, super jam-packed in here. Okay, so a buy right there. Everything lined up. Let's play it forward a little bit here and see what it does. Unfortunately, it stops us out. And it's heading on a path downward. We did not get a signal to take the short on that. Let's see, it throws a buy there, but that's not going to work. It throws a sell here, but now the SAR is not lined up, and so that's not going to work. Then it finally throws signal here that we can take, and it got to take profit. There we go. Getting close to the end of the year now. Oops, slow down there, fella. All right, so buy signal right here. That got us to take profit on that one. Then we get a sell signal there. Definitely looks like it got to take profit. It sure did. There we go. We're into December now. It said not much left at the end of the year. There's a buy signal right there. That will be the last one of the year. And it does eventually get us to take profits. All right. So there we have it. Let's turn the noise off on that thing. Whew. Man. Busy, busy, busy indicator. All right, let's count them out and see what we got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oops. Messed that one up. Let's try this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So we are fourteen trades all together. Let's count out the wins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We have nine winning trades. And so that barely squeezes in the 60%. Um, 
I'm not a great fan of this indicator, but it meets the criteria. And so um, that is, um, you know, that's, that's worth something. But the issue I have with this indicator is that it is a version of a whole trading system or very close to that we would uh, develop off of other indicators. Now, the reason why that's such a problem is that it was barely able to squeeze out the 60% uh, win rate with all those indicators layered on top of each other. Now, some of those indicators we have tested, some worked and some did not uh, tested them on their own. And so the problem that I have is that when you are starting to build a complete trading system, um, you should be able to realistically achieve um, in the 80 or even 90% win rate. And so um, I believe or I know that the biggest issue again with this indicator is the fact that um, it's already already has lots of indicators layered on top of each other and it's only barely able to achieve a 60%. And that isn't that great. I mean, we should be able to achieve 60% with just one of the indicators that we use and the uh, use that as a foundation and build off of that, which means that um, it should only increase the win rate of that indicator that we are starting with. And so if we have an indicator that we are starting with that is a 75% winner, for instance, and we um, use another indicator to filter out a couple of losses, then that's going to drastically increase the percentage, the win rate percentage of that first indicator. And so you can see how if we are already starting with a system of three indicators and it's only able to achieve barely a 60% win rate, um, then that is, that is not great. That means that there is one indicator probably in here that is doing a reasonable job and the other ones are not helping it at all. And that is not a very good trading system in my opinion. So uh will it go on the yes list yes it will because um, we're not being biased uh, do i think that it is going to work in the long run i don't see it working but uh we'll give it a shot and we'll move on to the next indicator from here if you have not already like this video comment below subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so that way you are notified anytime I post a new video. As part of the team, it's important that you are seeing the new videos as they come out so you know what it is that we are discussing and what indicators we are testing, have tested, and have not tested. Also, like usual, there is a link below in the description to the Discord server. You can join us on Discord so that way we can further discuss the indicators and have discussions as we move forward building our trading system. And lastly, like usual, there is a link below to TradingView. If you like what you see whenever I use TradingView and you are interested in signing up for TradingView, if you use the link below, and sign up for a paid account, you will save a little bit of money. So, all right, everybody, I will see you.